welcome back with another video lecture in this video lecture we will study and focus on glycolysis so what is glycolysis glyco mean glucose or sugar and lysis means splitting so the splitting of glucose which is six carbon molecules into two pyruvate or pyruvic acid that is three carbon molecule is called glycolysis glycolysis performed in the cytoplasm or cytosol of the cell both in aerobic and an anaerobic condition in case of aerobic respiration oxidation of pyruvic acid will occur in mitochondria through krebs cycle if the condition is anaerobic then fermentation of pyruvic acid will occur it is due to lack of oxygen or absence of mitochondria let's discuss each step of glycolysis in detail once the glucose is getting in into the cell or we bring glucose in we have to change it in glucose 6 phosphate through an enzyme what's called hexokinase which present in many muscles and tissues but glucokinase is specifically present in liver these two enzymes are responsible to convert glucose into glucose 6 phosphate so from where this phosphate came and bent with glucose molecule let me explain here i have an atp which is converted into adp or adenosine diphosphate it means we lost one phosphate so where it go yes it will bend to carbon number six of glucose here in the diagram i mentioned in orange color this phenomena is called phosphorylation which is due to adenosine triphosphate or atp this phosphorylation is facilitated by two enzymes that is hexokinase or glucokinase enzyme then in the next step isomerization will occur in this step the glucose is converted into its isomer fructose so here glucose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate due to an enzyme what's called oh, phosphoglucose isomerase enzyme in the next step we see phosphate on carbon number one and carbon number six of glucose so we called it fructose one six bisphosphate not biphosphate because there is space between carbon molecules and phosphate group that's why we called it bisphosphate rather than biphosphate remember that a phosphate is added because atp is involved in this step again it loses phosphate that convert into adp by this way the loss phosphate is added into carbon number one then in the next step hammering or splitting of fructose one six bisphosphate will occur through an enzyme called aldolase it will cleave fructose one six bisphosphate and form glycerol aldehyde three phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate the dihydroxyacetone phosphate is not utilized the glycolytic pathway mean it does not convert into the next glycolytic pathway he has to con to convert into glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate so we have an enzyme for this interconversion or isomerization and this enzyme will known is triose phosphate isomerase so the glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate oxidation will occur he will convert into another molecule known as 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate here a special enzyme involved in this step known as glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase this enzyme will add 
NAD which will react with glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase in the sorry this enzyme will add NAD which will react with glycerol aldehyde phosphate in the presence of glycerol aldehyde phosphate and convert into NADH. Now let's look what happening in the next step. Actually they lost a phosphate in the next step and we called it 3-phosphoglycerate and the enzyme involved in this step known is phosphoglycerate kinase. This enzyme convert ATP into ADP into ATP. Here we gain first ATP of glycolysis. In the next step of glycolysis, 2 phosphoglycerate are formed and the enzyme that will convert 3 phosphoglycerate into 2 phosphoglycerate is phosphoglycerate mutase. Now the phosphate is on carbon number 2. The next step is phosphoenol pyruvate and the enzyme involved in this step known is enolase which will shift a phosphate from different structure. As you can see in the diagram the phosphate location change from top to bottom on carbon number 2. In the last step we see there is no phosphate after phenol pyruvate. So what it mean? It mean I must have formed ATP again. We took two ADPs again react them with phosphoenol pyruvate and made two ATP and the enzyme responsible for this step is pyruvate kinase. So what this pyruvate kinase enzyme do? He took a phosphate from phosphoenol pyruvate and converted it into pyruvate or pyroic acid which is three carbon molecules. I hope this will make sense. Thanks for watching. If you like the video don't forget to subscribe.